Kanduke Dance Company's In Dialogue programme is a series of ongoing conversations with change makers. Verbal, physical, visual explorations that question what it is to be an artist, what words and actions can do as part of an evolving art form. On Being an Artist is the outcome of two days of discussion, interrogation and exchange between Mark Brew, Caroline Bowditch, Claire Cunningham, Vicky Malin and Kate Marsh following the Unlimited 2014 Festival at Southbank Centre London. The 2014-15 In Dialogue programme is curated by guest artist Luke Pell. Kate, do you want to just uh, talk a bit about what you do and where you're at at the moment in your practice? I am uh, currently undertaking um, quite a few different strands to my work. I'm a PhD candidate at Coventry University, um, halfway through a PhD looking at dance, disability and leadership. I'm also um, researching and in the process of making um, a duet with the fellow dancer Welly O'Brien. I'm also um, still maintaining my freelance teaching and training practice. What is it to be a dance artist in an academic context? Um, and actually also to be a disabled dance artist in an academic context because I probably think at the moment you are one of the few. Yeah, I, yeah, I think that's absolutely true that I am one of the, one of the few. I certainly, on the project that I'm working on, um, I am the only, I'm the only disabled person on the team, um, which I think is absolutely inevitable. I think that's not a conscious choice on behalf of the research team. I think it's there's something inevitable about that at the moment. I think your question about what it means to be a, a dance artist in an academic context is is a really interesting one because I think it's very easy to get lost in practice. And it's very easy to get lost in academia as well. And I think that finding that balance between how does my research and my academic work feed my practice, mm. and then how can I also find a way for my practice to feed um, the academic research without without either of them um, being compromised. I, and I think I'm getting there. So this having space in the studio is a generative thing for you in terms of your inquiry. What also are the things that when you're working in the studio space keep you going? Why do you do what you do? First and foremost, I'm really interested in, in people, I think. I'm really interested in that human dynamic. Mm -hmm. I'm really excited in being the person who decides what I look at, what, what I do, and the terms that I work on, and the things that I explore, or collectively, if I'm working with another person, the things that we want to explore. That seems, and you're talking about excitement, the, the necessity to be excited by what you yeah. do as an artist yeah. feels really important. It sounds like that maybe is something well, you've just said is something that is, is how you're feeling at the moment, but you perhaps haven't done more recently? That is probably part of, of an artistic condition, if you like, that we, there are times when it, it's a job and it's a way of generating income, of surviving. And I know that your PhD inquiry kind of thinks about responsibility and accountability yeah. and, and leadership. What is it to be responsible for this line of inquiry? I have become very aware of a necessity in, in, um, in the academy to increase actual practical progression um, for disabled dance artists. I've started this process with some really big questions and the further along I go, the more I'm starting to realise that it's th that actually there may be something about really small practical solutions. There is a huge lack of any presence by people kind of representing um, disabled dance artists in higher education mm -hmm. and actually if we follow that to its, its natural conclusion how can we inspire aspiring disabled dancers mm. if there are no role models easily accessible to them and actually I'm not satisfied that one or two universities are happy to say well we do disability I think every university needs to have and every training institution needs to have um, an eye on the future dancers because what I'm noticing in terms of a discrepancy the desire is there and actually that I'm not seeing enough positive practical changes happening and it's not hard